I played against Nick a couple times, but uh, you know when I first met him, we were on the same team. Okay. And Nick was was always always able to shoot the ball, and uh, what I think helped him was was he was able to dribble the ball and, and uh, play multiple positions. And, and at the time, he was wasn't six six, so uh, you know he, he hit a growth spurt and his athleticism caught up, and now he's you know a complete you know, player that I have to play a lot of things for whatever team. I mean, I think, I think everybody sees his, his videos. Right. Of, uh, I mean, that's ridiculous of, of the amount of shots he makes. Um, but he was always able to shoot the ball. I mean, I, I think uh, he always had the potential to, to be what he is now, and he worked at it. And I, and I know he's a, a great guy off the court. So, you know, he, I think he deserves you know, to be here and deserve to be in the NBA. All right, thank you. Both of you guys with the high IQ and feel, both of you guys share those traits in the game. If you guys were to play, let's say, Team Canada together, how, how, do you, how do you feel that dynamic would work out? I think it'll work out well. Um, you know, I think when you're playing with, with other other players that you know know the game and know you know how to play basketball, it makes it so much easier. On top of you know the talent that Nick has, um, you know, I, I think if uh, Team Canada is able to put me and him, you know, at the, the one and two spot, I think you know we'll, we'll be able to compete with with a lot of other guard hands. And touch on Melvin. Um, talking a little bit about the niche that you see him fitting on the next level. What translates? Was that? What type of player do you see him being at the next level? Um, you know what? I think in college he showed he could shoot, but you know I think he's able to play the two spot in the NBA. I mean he's he's able to defend. He's athletic. You know, and he's just tough. He's a tough guy. I think he, you know, he, he might be a little undersized for the four, but you know he's one of those guys you can put him out there and, and uh, you know tell him to guard you know Blake Griffin or, or anybody. He's gonna go out there and do it. And, uh, I think he's more than capable of playing you know, the win spot and he can shoot the ball and, and uh, you know, make plays for others as well. So I think he, he, he'll definitely find his way in the league, you know, whatever position you know, teams, team puts him in. We know about his work ethic. Uh, do you feel like he can play the two spot immediately or will he, with his work ethic, continue to transition slowly from the kind of three, four to the two? No, I think definitely now. Definitely huh? now yeah. I mean, uh, you know, through workouts, like he's showing, he impressed me. I mean, you know, like I said, I grew up watching him, uh, grew up watching all his Iowa State games, but, you know, the way he shoots the ball consistently, uh, you know, he defends, you know, point guards, you're defending me, Jordan Clark, you know, the guards that we're working out with, and, and he proved to me, as someone who watched him, you know, all his life, that, that he could play, you know, the wing spot. Tyler, you guys have all played for Canada at various stages. How eager are you for that moment when you can all get here? Come together as one on the senior team. Yeah. Olympic qualifying or wherever it might be. Yeah, I think uh, you know, we're definitely going to have ups and downs. I mean, we're going to have a really young team. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of players that never play together. But you know, talent-wise, I think you know we're we're at the level we need to be at as far as the country, and and we have a, a great staff, a great you know front office. So I think uh, you know, as long as we put it together and we have uh, you know, we respect Coach Triano, I think we'll. we'll are you eager to see that day? Like, I mean, it's hard with everyone who's got summer leagues and contracts and issues, but I mean, would it be fun? Do yeah, you know, yeah. See how it bounce all over again? Yeah, it'll be. <laughs> we'll definitely have a lot of CI and all players on there, but um, you know, to play with, with that kind of talent, you know, for a national team, is going to be something you know, that, that's going to be a real good experience. So, so who did you work out against in this process that impressed you the most? Um, I worked out against a lot of guards. I worked out against Marcus Smart twice. You know, he, I think everybody knows what he can do. Uh, physical guard, he can defend. I mean, this plays with, with so much emotion and passion. You know, even in workouts, he shows that. Um, Zach Levine, I've seen him twice. His athleticism, athleticism is you know, second to none in the draft. Um, worked out against DeAndre Kane, you know, somebody who in college really proved himself. And, uh, you know, I think he'll, he'll be able to find his way. Um, Russ Smith, another guard, you know, in the uh, NCAA that you know won a championship and, and uh, earned his keep. So I think he'll he'll definitely find his way as well. And um, Xavier Thames, another you know guard that can really score. So I, I was able to, to play against you know different different types of point guards, you know the physical ones, the athletic, you know the, the small and fast. And, I think I fared well against you know, everybody in the winning. It's not really, it's not really typical for a guy from the NBA, at least American born players, to have international experience like you do. Can you talk a little bit about how your international experience has helped prepare you for the NBA? Yeah, it's helped a lot. I mean, uh, you know, having to adjust. I had to really adjust to, to the FIBA, FIBA style of play. 
Um, you know, I was playing against you know pros. You know, coming out of I was you know fresh out of high school playing against you know professional players, and, and you know in the, the under 19, I was able to lead the tournament in scoring. Um, you know, I was able to, to show what I can do, and I think that really helped me. You know, my draft stock and uh, you know heading into college, uh, a lot of people you know looking, looking ahead to 2020. There are a lot of people that think Canada would have an opportunity to win a gold medal. Is that something that you guys have talked about and discussed at all? Is that something that has come up with Coach Triano at all? Um, you know, Coach hasn't really looked, you know, as far as gold medals. I think we're just trying to put the pieces together as of right now. Um, you know, we have a long way to go. We have, we have the talent of the players, but, you know, to, to put together a medal team, it is, it's not that easy. So, I mean, uh, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, slowly put the pieces together. Uh, hopefully, we all get in the same gym and uh, start to kind of getting that chemistry that you need. What's it going to see yourself in the NBA 2K15 video game? Uh, it's going to be crazy. Um, you know, I think as a kid, you know, you make yourself and, and uh, you know, you put yourself 99 all the time. But, uh, yeah, to, to, to see yourself and be able to play with yourself on a team is uh, something I think every kid dreams about.